Welcome back to the Black Hills and Eastern Railroad, everybody. Well, the time has finally arrived when I'm fulfilling a promise to myself and to a lesser extent you guys to give a construction update on what's going on with my HO scale model railroad, the Black Hills and Eastern. I thought I'd start out with uh, giving sort of a brief overview of the, uh, the room or the area that the model railroad is in. And um, just to give you guys an understanding of, of what I'm working with and, and uh, what I plan to do. The Black Hills and Eastern Model Railroad is basically being constructed in the footprint of a two-car garage. So my approximate measurements are 20 by 25 or so. Um, there's a little bit of a switching tail. We'll have a little bit of a staging area off into the shop um, used for maybe a couple, three, four trains on uh, both of two levels. Uh, the plan is to make approximately 24 inch shelves uh, cantilevered out from the walls on the upper level. The uh, second level will be supported by the staging level, which, which actually is, uh, has support members uh, that are fixed to the wall. My current state of construction is, is that uh, we are uh, pretty much done with staging here now at this point. We're working out the bugs in it. Um, as far as the track being laid and the bench work and all that, the bench work is 100% complete on the staging level. Um, we need to lay a little bit more track over here in the uh, Marshall subdivision. Uh, there'll be staging track, hidden staging that's over there. And I really want to get this track bulletproof or at least approaching bulletproof before we start constructing the, uh, the main level because a lot of that stuff will be a lot harder to work on and reach once that uh, main level is attached to the layout here. So let's get down to taking a look at uh, the actual layout itself. So here we are on the uh, tour of the layout. Uh, we're at the north end of the, the uh, Sioux City yard here. Um, John Dutton let us borrow his helicopter for uh, this particular tour. Uh, hopefully uh, this gets it done this time and you guys like the result. Anyway, um, this yard here is about 24 inches wide. Uh, bench work is uh, in this particular part of the layout is one by fours that support uh, quarter inch plywood that su supports uh, half inch homo soap. Anyway, again, uh, the north end of the Sioux City yard, and I'm gonna pan around here to see uh, the connecting tracks, and you'll end up seeing uh, the, the far back track there is actually the, uh, the west junction line from Sioux Falls. Uh, that does not interact with the Sioux City yard this, this time through here. And then you'll see those uh, two tracks uh, out from the wall there, the, the closest one to the uh, lens here is the drill track for the Sioux City Yard on the north end and the uh, far track, uh, the I guess the, the second one out from the wall going up the ramp there is the uh, BNSF or BN uh, Marshall subdivision, which will go through the wall on the other side, come out at Garrett's in South Dakota. And we're doing a little bit of selective omission here uh, because we don't have room to model at all. I wish we did, but we don't. Um, then in the foreground here is uh, the, the, uh, the rail at the very left hand, very lower left hand corner of your screen is the Marshall subdivision. We'll talk about that more later, but that passes back through um, Sioux City here um, in sort of a logical connection. Uh, trains will go out and come back. So the uh, second track or the actually the uh, third, fourth and fifth track in from the edge of the layout here represents the Sioux City C&W yard. Uh, there where that cut of cars uh, sits on the, uh, the right hand of your screen, now center um, that track and behind there, the two tracks behind that will represent C&W Sioux City yard. Anyway, the uh, Sioux City uh, C&W yard curves around here as does the Marshall subdivision. Uh, we've got a little alcove here, kind of an area to fold over itself. Uh, again, this is all staging area. Then you see again in the foreground here, a BN Marshall subdivision and a connector track just for staging. Then you see here where the uh, Marshall subdivision continues uh, southbound. Uh, it executes a three quarter turn around this uh, uh, view block here uh, where the cork is. Obviously no track is laid there, but you get the general feeling of where that uh, uh, plywood is set. We need to put risers in and all that kind of thing. Uh, and in order to get to Garrettson over here on the other side of this view block, uh, Garrettson doesn't exist over here either. Um, so we've got a, quite a little work to do here as far as uh, getting bench work and track in. So we continue around another bend here and we get to what I'm going to use as staging. 
uh, to represent the Burlington Northern Madison subdivision. And then the actual switch that really represents West Junction, um, we'll take it because this is a right-hand switch and actual West Junction is a really a left-hand switch. Uh, the tangent track here, the straight track, will end up here in this area um, as basically South Del Rapids, possibly a customer for uh, Moorfield Southern, uh, my made up uh, freelance short line. Uh, I have some thoughts about what I might wanna do with that. But anyway, uh, South Del Rapids here, the South Quarry. Then we restart the tour here in Sioux City, but this time we're on the south end of the Sioux City yard, um, looking over the, uh, the uh, lead tracks here and then the engine terminal that exists on the uh, south end. Uh, it doesn't exist on the south end, it's more towards the north end in real life, but way to put it somewhere here on the model railroad and that was the place for it that it landed. Um, so this pretty much, uh, the track behind that temporary station there is the uh, track that represents, basically I'm calling it my Q connection, uh, CB and Q lines through Nebraska out toward uh, Edgemont, South Dakota, and the uh, Black Hills subdivision where the uh, where all that coal is being gathered, and uh, eventually Northern Pacific. But we're modeling as far as Edgemont here. Uh, this track that goes up the grade toward uh, Edgemont, and basically we're bridging all that Nebraska track. Uh, sorry, Scott. And then what you're looking at here in the foreground, um, even before that, uh, is uh, basically the only part of uh, the North Sioux Falls area that I have constructed. So the track closest to the lens here again is that uh, track that goes up towards West Junction, goes out around the helix. And then we have just a little bit of track that's left to be laid here yet. And this is the, uh, will be the Marshall Yard and a place to support uh, corn syrup coming out of the MCP plant at Marshall. So here's the uh, Whitewood Yard. Um, that supports dm &E operations up to Deadwood. Uh, CNW really did have a line that followed that route uh, from Whitewood, South Dakota, off of the uh, present day colony line um, that uh, basically ran uh, west and west and south towards Deadwood up the hill. I, and I believe that that route had the distinction of having the South Dakota's longest railroad tunnel on it. The majority of the run on the Whitewood line will be up the helix here. And then the uh, scratch-built helix, uh, which I'll probably dedicate an entire uh, Black Hills and Eastern episode to, um, is scratch-built out of primarily um, birch plywood, cabinet plywood, and uh, the uh, the support members or the risers are all uh, just pine one by one by fours. And again, this represents the uh, uh, Whitewood line from uh, Whitewood, South Dakota, to Deadwood, South Dakota. That the, uh, Fremont Elkhorn and Missouri Valley built, uh, CNW assumed, and we're going to just go ahead and, uh, and freelance it as a dm &E operation in modern day. When I got to the top here and ended construction temporarily, I planted a sign as a little bit of a humor. I hope you enjoyed the content in this episode, and I hope you'll stick with us for more uh, construction on the Black Hills and Eastern Railroad. There'll certainly be a lot of that. There's a lot of work to do here, obviously. Uh, we're going to have fun with it, and uh, hopefully you stick around. Hit that subscribe button for more. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Hopefully, if we're lucky, we'll see you in the next one.